Just the little the fish that the bass are eating. There we go. There we go. What's up, guys? Today we are out fishing a popular lake by the looks of the boat ramp, man. The place is packed. We're out here with Devin and her dad, John. We're gonna have a ton of fun. First things first, man, what we have to do is dial in our Garmin trolling motor. We just got this thing hooked up the other day, but we didn't calibrate it before we went out, so we couldn't use spot lock the entire day. We had forgot to bring the remote control with us, which is necessary to calibrate the thing, but we've got it right here in the coin box. Check us out. This is gonna be sick, man. This thing, I'll be able to operate the trolling motor from the back if I want to, but we are gonna go ahead and get this thing calibrated. You're supposed to do it where there's low winds. We got lucky with that at the moment. Chance of storms today, man, so hopefully we don't kick out of here because of the bad weather. Let's go ahead and get the day started. Okay, so I just turned this uh, remote on here. I went into the settings, trolling motor. Now I'm going to calibrate. I guess I go over here, slowly rotate. Oh, hold, hold the unit level and try again. Oh, oh, like this? Okay. Slowly rotate. Oh, this. Okay. Next, slowly roll the unit until prompted. Okay. Easy enough. Slowly flip the unit until prompted. Hold the unit level and try again. Okay. How am I doing this wrong? The unit level and try again. Well, now, now hold on a second. I am. I'm going to go faster. That didn't work. What? You know what, I might be next to interference. Is it this thing? I wonder if it's this thing. I bet you it's this. Nope. I'm gonna go this way. Nope, it's working. It's gotta be working. It's gotta be working. Yes, calibration successful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I think we're good now. Let's see if we can use spot lock. And now yesterday when I would hit spot lock, it was giving me like a beep beep, like you can't do that. Let's see what happens here. Spot lock. Uh-oh. It did it again. Why did it do that? What if I hit it on the remote? Trolling motor not connected. Oh, well the remote's calibrated. Okay. <sighs> Today we're going to show you how to pair your wireless remote control to your force trolling motor. Good, because I'm having issues. On the trolling motor display panel, press the power button three times to enter pairing mode. Mm. Got it. Now maybe it'll work. I still think it didn't. Select start and follow the on-screen instructions. I think we figured it out, y'all. I calibrated the remote, but I didn't calibrate the actual motor. So now I'm calibrating the motor. We got to turn the boat to full circles, keeping it level. So don't flip your boat while you do this. I don't think we've done two full circles. I don't know if this thing is going to tell me I've completed it or not. It hasn't said anything. All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to hit that. Oh, I have to have started it. It says that's what I'm supposed to do, but then you start it. Now, okay, now it's saying I'm 18% done. Okay, so here's how you look like an idiot on the lake doing four circles on your boat while you're trying to calibrate stuff. <laughs> the got a new boat yeah, Lee. Yeah, they know, they know we got a new boat. Jeez. Yeah. Compass calibrated. Okay. Can we spot lock? Oh my goodness. We're locked. Oh gosh. Okay, we are set, guys. Let's go ahead and get on the road. Let's catch some fish. This is legit. Yep, she's working now. Okay, let's see if we can catch some fish. Oh, there's some fish. Yeah, there, there's some stuff swimming along this dam. All right, we're gonna make a move to the other side of the lake, y'all. Okay, so this one's different. I got her set up. This one right here, it's like a little fish. Just check him out. You see him swimming? Yep. They're gonna smoke this thing. So you'll probably want to fish like um you can cast like into the lily pads a little bit when it gets thick it might be hard to get this through he might get caught up you have strong line on here though braided lines so you, you can rip it you'll be able to rip it right out if you do so with this one just a consistent reel you'll figure out as you do it a couple times like what seems too slow you just want good action out of that tail see it kicking yeah after you cast if you let it sit for a second he'll sink down a little bit lower maybe the fish are down a little bit lower then you start reeling them and so it's just a matter of figuring out what they want, like where they're gonna be, if they're willing to come up and chase it, or if you wanna get down on their level. With your thumb on the line, that way it doesn't go anywhere, you hit that open button, now, it, now it'll drop. Okay, but it drops real slowly. I've got you set up to where it doesn't drop very fast. All right, so so basically, if, if you don't stop when it hits the water, I've got it set tight, but hard, usually, yes. Well, see, it's pretty dang tight. Yeah, yeah it almost did. I got you, I got you. You'll get less distance at the moment, but you don't need to go way out there. They're all hanging out right here. Right. One more thing, don't hold it straight. When they bite, you want a little bit of, you want you want to hold it about a 45. That way when they bite, there's a little bit of tension and that hook really gets set in their lip. Give that a shot. You can cast overhead, right to left, left, you cast however you want, whatever feels good. But just work through these pads, that's probably where they're hanging out. 
Nice. Let's do it one more time after this. Use your left hand too on the butt end of that handle, I'll show you. And you don't even have to pop it. This guy, oh, just, just swimming, yep. And he's down there on their level. I think that's probably the perfect speed. Maybe even a little bit faster because you want that tail to kick. So just a little bit faster than that. Okay, so open it up. Now use your left hand a little bit. Put your left hand on, on the back end of that. Now, boom, you can get a little leverage. Yeah, you can really get it out there. Right. And since you're casting with the wind, I'm gonna loosen up the settings a little bit and you'll be able to get some more distance. You wanna find that perfect balance of where you can get the most distance and not backlash. It's only a matter of time until this thing gets a fish. And this is a lot different working baits that are always moving. It's, it's, it's really fun. And the brakes down a little bit. It's on maximum. Yeah. So I'm gonna rotate that. A, we'll rotate that a couple twists. Give that a twirl. See what happens. Open that up. All right, so that's better distance. Now you might feel a little resistance as you cruise those, through those. That's fine. Just keep it, keep it cruising. I'll show you one more thing here in a second. Okay, so next and probably last is your grip. So you're holding the rod, but it's a little bit different than those uh, spinning ones where you are holding it just like that, not the reel. On these guys, you want to almost cup the cup the reel. They call it palming it. Oh. So that you'll find, especially if you have a fish on, it's it feels awkward at first and it doesn't feel right. But once you get it, probably between the pinky and the ring finger, once you get that grip right there, you'll be feeling real good. You won't you won't want to be able to hit that on accident, so don't hold it like this. Yeah. Get your thumb over it, and that that's that's real comfortable. All right. Yep. Matter of time, and I'm gonna throw the same thing. I'm gonna see how fast we can get one. Oh. Okay, so shit. I like the way this looks. It's kind of like an opening to get in there. So go ahead and cast as far as you can in there. Try and work it through What's that opening. Ironic about getting burned on this is I'm fired, guys, for burning us the crazy before. <laughs> <laughs> you hold it almost like with the rod tip a little closer to the water or down. It's more comfortable on the wrist. It's it's uh, what most people would do. So give that a whirl. Down out of 45. Yeah, a little awkward there with the motor. You could walk to the left side of the motor if you want, because if something hits, you're gonna go boom and spank that thing. Yeah, there we go. Keep working a little bit. Oh, there's one. There, there went one. There's another one. Five feet in front of the boat. Guys, this is so crazy. We're on spot lock, so like the motor's moving around, and as it points different directions, it's seeing different areas inside the water. And we're just seeing fish cruise through here. I'm gonna, you'll see them dart every once in a while. We gotta find where the rat. Let's try this again. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, that looks so good. <laughs> Man, they are just not in here. All right, we tried the frog for a second. The fish that the bass are eating. There we go, there we go. There we go, nice fish. Solid, he came up and smacked it. That's what we are talking about. First fish of the day, spot lock please, this is it. Wind blown right here by the reed edges, guys. Woo! You see, he came up and smacked it. Oh, there we go. Good one, good one. Get him in, get him in. I saw him. Solid, he came up and smacked it. That's a fat one. Let's test out this live well. We've never used it before. Uh, I'm gonna go manual and I'm gonna go recirc. Crazy. All right, y'all, this is something special. I'm holding this fish in the water and I'm working the trolling motor, trying to get us a little bit further away from this spot that we're in. And then I'm gonna spot lock us out here because we're gonna come back in here and hit this spot some more. I wanna get us away, that way the trolling motor doesn't spook any more fish in here. All right guys, what a grind today. Holy smokes, we've been out here two to three hours. Just got the first bite on the black and blue jig. We are happy with this one right here. We're just anchored up a spot lock right off the point we caught him on and I was working it fast. I was almost bringing it back into the boat as I was explaining to John exactly what we're doing out here and then boom, smacked it. What a bite. I've got us uh, anchored down with the remote control that we're using for the first time. It's been a day. We're finally getting on something here. I think we're just going to toss in here with some more black and blue bottom baits to see what works. The live well is filling up. I'd say this guy is a chunky two pounder. We'll go ahead and weigh him real fast for you guys. All right, y'all, we're zeroed out. Let's go ahead and get this fish on the scale. I think it's going to go more than two, but uh, we'll see how much more. Oh, yeah. Fat little two and a half. 2.57, guys. First fish of the day. Let's see if we can't get some more on this windblown point right here. All right, I think what we're going to do is make a move to uh, another lake close by. This remote, though, I got to tell you what, is the bomb. Like, I don't even have to be up at the front. Devin can hold on to this if she wants. You can get out of sticky situations. The wind has been blowing like crazy, and you can just keep yourself away from the reeds or potentially dangerous objects from the back of the boat. It's been very useful today. Devin says she just had bites, but... Well, let's work the bank for just another minute on that note, and then we're gonna go ahead and get that fish out of the live well, and we're probably gonna make our way to this other lake here in just a second. Stay tuned. Wait for me. He's gonna stab you. That's a good-looking fish. He's a pretty fish. He's fat. Get pumped for the summer. He's got a summer bod going. Here, you do the release. <laughs> it's your fish.
cruising. All right, let's get to the other. All right, man, we are at the second spot. Devin's dad just got us launched. It is a lot busier with more leisure boaters. It is also a, uh, a lot more murky, man, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them off the dock and then we are going to split on over to an area I think looks pretty good in this lake. And I think we are definitely gonna utilize the perspective mode with inside the live scope to try and identify where the fish are in this murky stuff and see if we can't put something together on the second lake for the day and get on a sunset bite. It is now about 5, 16 p.m. Let's get going. <laughs> and you might get stuck. If you do, we'll try and get it free. All right, y'all, while we're in the no-wig zone, I'll give you a quick little recap. We went ahead, fished crankbaits at the dam, fished jigs around the reeds. We even hit some docks and uh, no love for us this evening, but uh, the water is chalky and it looks a little tough, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We'll catch you guys back at the house. Uh, no, not here. Go ahead. What's up guys, welcome back to the house and happy Memorial Day, man. I'm just finishing up this edit. We uh, unfortunately didn't get too many fish, but I hope you guys enjoy the informational side of today's video. A ton of bait caster tips if you guys are new to the game, new to using the casting bait, uh, not baits, Casting reels, <laughs> you probably learned something and I'm grateful to be able to provide a couple tips like that on these videos on occasion. We also got the trolling motor dialed in, man. The force is now running with spot lock and that's gonna save us in many instances. You guys know the deal. If you got a spot lock motor, I know you're using it consistently. The remote is also top shelf, man. I love that thing. You can keep it on the lanyard around your neck. I, I was tossing it in my pocket a lot just cause I didn't want it to interfere with the GoPro. But literally, I mean, all you gotta do is hit the little button, the propeller stays on. One of the biggest benefits I think is you can just like say if you're hitting reeds and you want to work all the way up the bank, you can literally just keep the propeller running on your trolling motor. And if you need to adjust the direction just slightly, you can go ahead and toss... TJ, out of my coffee. What are you doing? Yeah, so if you're wanting to work a bank, you can just keep your trolling motor on low speed. You can keep it going in a consistent line. And if you feel yourself drifting a little close, you can just keep working the bank. You don't even have to go over to the foot pedal. You can just hit left or right on the arrow keys on your uh, remote control, and you can go ahead and steer that thing while you're still fishing. It is truly legit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The graphs are still a work in progress. We're figuring everything out. We've never used graphs before, and we're jumping right into live scope. So uh, I think actually this is probably easier than most other sonars, if I'm being honest. Maybe it's just because it's what I've seen and done the research on, but we're going to get that down and forward imaging is figured out very soon. We've got the uh, L bracket mounted in the proper place now so that we can utilize those features and not just perspective in the shallows. We're going to be catching a lot of fish using that live scope feature and I know you guys are digging it. Some of the comments have just been insane. If you guys haven't seen that stuff yet, I know you're hyped on this live scope stuff. So Panoptics live scope just so we're being proper with Garmin. We'll catch you on tomorrow's video. Peace out. <gasps>